Crawley ghost thing came up. Mm -hmm. And it's this fabulous woman named Tish McDermott. And she and her friends are go out ghost hunting and they've got like morning. Can you hear us? Yes. Yeah. Can Shabbat Shalom. Hey, wow. Okay, wow. Hello, JT. JT, wow. you look magnificent. You do, absolutely. Hello, hello. You're looking good. You're looking good. Thank you. Oh, hello. Oh, wait. You're muted still. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. We are going to mute Shabbat you shalom. and come in. I'm Rabbi Lucy Dinner, and along with Zimmer Lexi Coleman, we'll be leading the service on this Shabbat and celebrating with the Heilbrunner Brower family in the Bar Mitzvah of Jacob Heilbrunner. And I want you to take a moment to get settled as everyone is coming in. We will uh, share in some music and learn a little bit about Zoom before we fully get started. We have a Zoom host. Her name is Hilary Lamb. She is on the screen as Temple Beth Or. If you have any problems during the worship service with your Zoom, please send a message in the little box that says chat. You can send it to everyone if that's easiest, or you can send it to Temple Beth or host. And then Hillary will help you with getting back into the service or any questions you have. Also during the service at one point, we in the close to the beginning, we are going to put you in breakout rooms. That means you are going to be divided into groups with about four or five other people. Don't worry, you don't have to do anything. You'll automatically be put in and then automatically be, be sent out of those rooms. In the chat room, you will find a copy of our prayer book, or more accurately, a link to a copy of our prayer book. If you press on that link, you can put it side by side on your computer with our Zoom, and you can watch the service and follow in the prayer book throughout. So welcome to this Shabbat, to this time in which we are celebrating Bar Mitzvah and celebrating that Torah, that God's presence is with us throughout time, throughout the ages, throughout the challenges that we face. We hope and pray that our words on this Shabbat are healing and renewing and bring blessing. Amen. And now we turn to page 170 in our prayer books. Our opening song is Mo Dan. celebrate the bar mitzvah of Jacob, we invite his parents, Kevin and Aaron Heilbrunner, 
to offer the Talit to our Bar Mitzvah, along with the Talit blessing, which you can find on page 171. Bless Adonai, O oh my soul, Adonai, my God, how great you are. You are robbed in glory and majesty, wrote in glory. <laughs> you wrap yourself in light in a garment. You spread forth the heavens like a curtain. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Alam, Asher Kedishanu B'mitzvotav, Mitzivanu, Lahita Tef Batsitsi. Amen. Amen. And JT, I am giving you. Blessed are you, eternal our God, sovereign of the universe, who are sacrificed us through your commandments and command us to be wrapped in the fringes. So we are wrapping you in the fringes of the talit that I wore 40 years ago tomorrow on my bar mitzvah, and I hand it down to you. As we celebrate this Shabbat, I'm going to invite you to go into what we call breakout rooms. Our Zoom host will take care of that for you in just one moment. As she does, you will be entered into a breakout room to welcome each other, to wish each other a Shabbat Shalom. And so I encourage everyone to unmute and to put your video on so that you can welcome those who are part of our greater community on this Shabbat. Oh, good Lord. Do I break out? No, no, no. She said you shouldn't have to do anything. Oh, maybe join. Mm -hmm. 
as we're returning to our worship space, we are going to continue in just a few minutes as everybody gets back on page 175 with the Nisim Bokoyo. These blessings are the blessings for the daily miracles. They remind us that there are miracles all around. There are small miracles and great miracles each and every day. Now I'm going to call upon our bar mitzvah to lead us in the blessings for daily miracles, page 175 through 178. <laughs> Eloheinu melech ha'olam, v'okeach ivrim. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, matir asurim. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, sokef kefuvim. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, v'okeach ha'aretz ahamayim. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Hamakin mitzade da there. Baruch ata Adonai, Elohim melachalam, Mobishayim. Baruch ata Adonai, Elohim melachalam, Hanotain lea poa. Baruch ata Adonai, Elohim melachalam, Hamavir shina menai, Uduma me afapai. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melahala, Shesani b'tzel melahim. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melahala, Shesani ben Korin. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melahala, Shesani Yisrael. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melahala, Osir Yisrael b'gvara. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam, Otir Yisrael Big Tuvra. Baruch Ata Adonai. So now we continue with our opening readings. I invite to join us in our opening readings. Relatives of our Bar Mitzvah will begin with Alan and Estelle Brower on page 85 in your prayer book. I'm a Jew because born of Israel and having lost her, I have felt her live again in me more loving than myself. I am a Jew because born of Israel and having regained her, I wish her to live after me more living than myself. I'm a Jew because the faith of Israel demands of me no abdication of the mind. I am a Jew because the faith of Israel requires of me all the devotion of my heart. I'm a Jew because in every place where suffering weeps, the Jew weeps. I am a Jew because every time when despair cries out, the Jew hopes. I am a Jew because the promise of Israel is the universal promise. I am a Jew because for Israel, the world is not yet completed. We are completing it. I am a Jew because to Israel, humanity is not yet fully formed. Humanity must perfect itself. And now I invite Meredith Moore, who will be reading from page six. We enter the sanctuary to welcome Shabbat. 
Within these walls, we sit surrounded by numerous generations. Our ancestors built the synagogue as a visible sign of God's presence in their midst. Throughout our long history and our endless wanderings, it has endured a beacon of truth, love, and justice for all humanity. In presence guided our ancestors to lies of righteousness, holding up to them a vision of their truest selves. Now we, in our turn, come into the sanctuary to affirm the sacredness of our lives. May we enter this place in peace. May holiness wrap around us as we cross into its threshold. Weariness, doubt, the flaws within our human hearts, the harshness of the weak, let these drop away at the door. In the brightness of Shabbat, let peace settle upon us as we lift our hearts in prayer. And we continue with Peter Medico, reading from page 67. I enter this sacred space to voice the longings of my heart in prayer. In sacred company, I offer my love to the Holy One. I devote myself this morning to psalm and song, study and prayer. May my heart be lifted, may my thoughts be deepened, and may my soul, like the eagle, soar. And finally, I invite Marley Canteen. We turn to page 81. Marley Canteen, page 81. Where is she? Andrea and Jason, that's you. Are we, yeah, are we on? Yes, yes. You're good. Sorry. <laughs> I can save the tears of others if I can see myself as diminished of their sorrows. I can hasten time when everyone will be able to rejoice in freedom. And if I can see myself as the companion of those fighting against oppression, I can honor the struggle of people everywhere to gain dignity and deliverance from bondage. When I look at myself in the mirror, who will I see? And now, as we thank and give a virtual hug to all of the relatives who offered opening readings on behalf and in honor of our Barman Spa, we turn to page 194 for the Hatsi Kaddish. And now we turn to that portion of our service known as the Shema and its blessings. I invite you throughout the service to rise at the places where you are comfortable and are able for our prayers that are said standing, but to remain seated if that is better for you. We'll begin with the Bar Hu, and then Jacob will lead us in the Yodzer Hall. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Rahata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Yotzer Or Uvere Hosha, Ose Shalom Uvere Et Hakor, Hameir Uaretz Boladorim Ele Borachamim, Utuvo Mechadesh Bechol Yom Tamid, Maaseya Voreshit, Ma Rabu Maasecha Adonai, Kulam Bechokma Asita, Maha Haaretz Kineneha, Tibara Adonai Eloheinu, Al Shabbat Mese Yadecha, Bahal Mure or Shiasita, Yafarucha Stella, Hor Hadash Sion Tail, Benitke Kulanu Mihare or Laro, Baruha Taranai, Yotzer Hamrot. Please turn to page 199. O God, inspiration for guide for all. You have spoken in a thousand tongues for us to hear. In every land, in every age, your children have heard you and imagined you in separate ways. And yet, O oh God, you are one unifier of humanity. We give thanks to the sages and teachers who bring us understanding of your will. Gratefully, we recall the lawgivers and prophets in the Psalms and the sages of Israel. And joyfully remember that from the dawn of Israel's life, we will turn to you and find purpose. May the teachings of our ancestors live in our minds and their passion for righteousness stir in our hearts. Help us to live so that our daily conduct reveals the beauty and wisdom of your truth. Baruchat ta Adonai, Chaboher be'amo Yisrael be'varach. We continue on page 200 with the Shema. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai You may be seated. Page 201, as Jacob continues to lead us with the Be'ahavta. Be'ahavta ed Adonai alohecha, ukol ofhacha, ukol nasheha, ukol meodeha, b'chayu hadbarim ha'ele, asher anohi mitzvotecha, hayom alalobeha. Manish Natan, Lavaneha, Vidi Bartan, Bam, Bashik the Ha, Beateha, who left the Ha, Vader, Ukshak the Ha, Uku Meha, Ukshatan Leot, Alia Deha, the Hayula to the Fo, Bene Naha, Ukhartan, Almizo Beateha, Ubi Shareha, Laman, Tiskeru, Vasi Tem, Ekhom, Sortai, the Atem Kerushim, Elohehem. Ani Adonai Elohehem. Asher Hotze, Lechem, Merit, Mitzrayi, Lechem, Elohim. Ani Adonai Elohehem. Love Adonai your God with every heartbeat and with every breast and with every conscious act. Keep in mind the words I command you today. Teach them to your children, talk about them at work, whether you are tired or you are rested. Let them guide the work of your hands. Keep them in the forefront of your vision. Do not leave them at the doorway of your house or outside your gate. They are reminders of all my mitzvot so that you can be holy for God. I am Adonai, your God. I led you out of Egypt to become your God. I am Adonai, your God. Turn to page 203. Sing the song of men and women joined in understanding and respect. The song of God's miracles on earth protected and cherished. A gift for our children and the generations to come. A song of a land when ravaged by war, now quiet and content. For soldiers home to lead no more. A song of a world redeemed, a song of peace. We continue on page 204 with me, Hamo. Shoshi, the 
continue with the Tefillah. Jacob will lead us from page 205 through 208. Please rise. Adonai sefa tafti taf uvi akita hila taha. Adonai sefa tafti taf uvi akita hila taha. Baruch Adonai be'el heinu of a hey of a team going on tain him. Ella hey Abraham, Ella hey Scott, Ella hey Yakov, Ella hey Sarah, Ella hey Rika, Ella hey Rahel, Ella hey Rea, Ha El Hagador, Hagabor, Hanora, El El Young, Gomel Hasavim Tovin, Benokene Hako, Mikhose Hashe, Avot Imrod, who may be Gula Lee Nehem. Lamashimo Barahaham, Mela Hoser, Umashina Umagain, Barahatar, and I may gain Abraham Mizrat Sarah, Atar Gibor Leolam, I don't know. Mikhaye Hako Atar Brashia, Morid Hatal, Mikhaye Hayam Berhezed, Mikhaye Hako Berahamim Ramim, Sogne, no fin. No fe calling. Uma tira serene. and Mato. Mishne afar. Miha moha bog river oat. Umi don lewa. Mel mechami. Umi haye. Umat me a yeshua. Benemar a tale o hako. Burrohata we continue now on page 208 through 210 as we sing the Kedusha. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzebaot, Melo Aretz, Evodo, Adir Adirinu Adonai, Adonino, Adir Shimach Bechol Aretz, Baruch Ebod Adonai, Nimkomo. Echadu Eloheinu, hu avinu malkeinu, hu moshieinu ve'u yashmieinu, berachamu avleinei kulachai. Ani Adonai Eloheim, imloch Adonai leolam, Eloheim k'ziwo, Le dor bador, alleluia. Le dor bador na kikur lecha, un yetzak natakim kerushat cha na kadish, vishib cha cha lo yeno mi pinu lo yamush, leolam ba'ed, baruch et aronai ha'el ha'kadosh. You may be seated if you are standing. 
We continue on page 211. The meaning of Shabbat is to celebrate time rather than space. Six days a week we live under the tyranny of things of space. On Shabbat we try to become attuned to holiness in time. It is a day on which we are called upon to share in what is eternal in time, to turn from the results of creation to the mystery of creation, from the world of creation to the creation of the world. Baruch Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. this Shabbat day, as you graciously receive our prayers, help us to hear your call. Grant us enough help to fulfill our duties and the compassion we need to attend to others. Teach us humility that we may perceive our own faults. Grant us the wisdom to be forgiving of others. Give us the courage to be true to our highest selves and the charity to see the best in those around us. Give us patience enough not to become discouraged, hope enough to overcome all fears for the future, and faith enough to know your presence. O source of blessing, look with favor upon us. May our offerings be acceptable to you. We praise you, Adonai, whom alone we serve in reverence. Baruch Ata Adonai She'otecha Lebarecha, the Yira Na'avodah. Our prayers on Shabbat are only complete if we add prayers for peace. And so we sing on page 216, Sim Shalom. Sim 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 Shalom Sim 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 Shalom Sim 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 Shalom
And now we take a moment to add our own private prayers, messages that flow from our hearts straight to the divine. Say shalom in Ramah. Uya say shalom Malena. Ve'al kol, ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'miru amen. O say shalom. Uya se shalom malenu Velko, Velko Israel Veiru Amen. As we turn now to the service for reading of Torah. I share with you just a brief thought about our Torah portion and where we are in the cycle of the Jewish year. We are in that period from Passover to Shavuot, that 49-day period that is known as a precarious period, a fragile period, as we are awaiting the harvest. And it is interesting to note that it tells us that during this time, as we are counting the Omer, or the harvest as it comes in, whereas you normally would offer one-tenth of an offering, during this time offer two-tenths of an offering. Why is that? Because when the world is fragile, when life is hanging in a new place, in a place that is anticipating what is to come, we need a little extra to give us strength and blessing. And so it is during these times, as God willing, we are emerging little by little from the throes of the pandemic. Take a little extra for yourself, for your community, to add blessing where we have been so threatened. And so we turn now to the service for reading of Torah, page 244 in your prayer books. And I invite our Bar Mitzvah family to rise together as they lift the Torah. Aaron and Kevin, if you will pass the Torah to your son as we celebrate this Bar Mitzvah with you. In Kamoka by a logi, Madonna, I mean, Kema Seha, Malhutaha, Malhut, Kololamim, Umim Shataka Behotor, Banor, Arnai Melech, Arnai Mala, Arnai Mlog, Leoma, Arnai Oslemo, you think, Adonai Berekata. Shema Yisrael, I 
Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adoneinu, Kadosh Shemo, Lecha Adonai Agivor, Beatibor, Beatiferet, Beanitzach Beachon, כי כל בשמיים ובארץ, כי כל בשמיים ובארץ, לך אדוני המבלך, ואומי נעשה לכל Now we turn to the first Aliyah for Torah. Yeah, um, Woof. We call for the first Aliyah, Warren Heilbrunner. Yes. Baruch Atah Adonai Hamavarach. Baruch Adonai Hamavarach Le'elam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bahar Banu Mikohamim Vinatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai No Tain HaTorah Amen. And we're reading in Leviticus chapter 22. I'll be starting for this Aliyah at verse 10. Behakohen Hagadol Meechav Asher Yotzach Al Rosho Shemen Amish Ka Hagadol Meechav Asher Yotzech Umale Et Yado Lilvash Et Habigadin Et Rosho Lo Ipare U Begadav Lo Ipare ועל כל נפשות מינט לא יבוא לאביו ולאימיו, לא ימתה, ומן המקדש לא יוצא ולא יחלל את מקדש אלוהיו, כי נזר שמן משכח אלוהיו עליו. אני אדוני. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lano Torah Emet Ve'ahei Yolam Nata Ve'ahinu Baruch Ata Adonai Notein HaTorah Amen Ye'amod Habar Mitzvah Yaakov Ben Kalman Ve'arona we call for our second Eliyah, the Bar Mitzvah, Jacob Heilbrunner. Baruch Atah, and Arnai Hamburah. Baruch Adonai Hamburah, Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamburah, Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Atah, Adonai, Eloheinu Mela Ha'olam, Asher Baharban, and we call Ha'amim, Benatamanu Et Torto, Baruch Atah, Adonai, Dotein HaTorah. Amen. In my Torah portion, it talks about different kinds of sacrifices. By Yedaber Adonai El Moshe Lemur Shor El Chesev Eiz Ki Yivaleid 
Vihaya Shiv Art Yamim, the Art Emo, U Niyom Hashmini, Rahala Re Rasa, Li Korban Isha La Adonai, Mir Shor O Se Oto Vet Bin No Lo Tish Hatu De Yom Ehad, Vahi Tiz Vahu, Vaha Todala Adonai, Mir Son Hem. Tis Bahu by Yom Hahu Ye Ahel La Lo Toti Ru Mi Menu Ad Baher Ani Adonai. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, When a bullock or a sheep or a goat is brought forth, then it should be seven days under the dam. But from the eighth day and thenceforth, it may be accepted for an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And whether it be a cow or an ewe, ye shall not kill it, and its young both in one day. And when ye sacrifice a sacrifice of thanksgiving unto the Lord, ye shall sacrifice it that ye may be accepted. On the same day it shall be eaten, and ye shall leave none of it until the morning. I am the Lord, and ye shall keep my, command, my commandments and do them, I am the Lord. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Emet Bechalei Olam Natat Etoheinu Baruch Atah Anai Notein HaTorah Amen and now we turn in our prayer books to page 252 as I invite everyone to share a little chat or some hands of celebration or blow kisses to our bar mitzvah. And I invite for Jacob's family to lead us in Hagba and Galila, lifting and dressing Torah. <laughs> we lift and dress the Torah. Bezota Torah, Sher Samoshe, Leaf Nebene Israel. My Torah portion is from the book of Leviticus, chapter 22, verses 26 to 32. 
This portion talks about how you should keep a baby lamb or any animal by its mother for seven days before being sacrificed to God. On the eighth day or after, it shall be accepted as an offering, but you shall not kill its mother and baby within the same day. This was said to Moses when they were near the promised land. If you're going to sacrifice an animal, you must use all parts or it is a sin. This Torah portion is meaningful to me because it makes me think about animals and especially my pets who died. When my dogs Steely, Zeus, and Agnes were about to die and be put down, I spent a lot of time with them and gave them comfort and it helped me cope with knowing that they would not be here with me anymore. I've never killed an animal or have gone hunting and I never plan to, but I want to tell others that if they were going to go hunting, they would make to make sure that they wouldn't kill the animal in vain and that all parts of the animal should be used, like meat for food and fur for clothing. It's, this is why I like the culture of Native Americans. When they would hunt for buffalo, they would use every part of the body. They would eat the meat, they would use for clothing, they would use their stomachs or bowls, bowls, and they would use their like um, bones to like help them like stack, help with like the houses. And it was considered a sacred animal. Unfortunately, when the colonizers came to America, they hunted the buffalo for fun. They did not use all its parts and hunted them to near extinction. This is important to think about today because lots of people enjoy hunting for fun. I see lots of pictures of people who have hunted deer, birds, ducks, and other animals. And I think it's important when they are hunting to think about the animal, its family, and its parents, that if you're going to kill the animal, you use all the parts and it's not just for fun. To become a bar mitzvah means I have become a man in the Jewish religion. It is now my responsibility to continue the Jewish education and carry on my religion to my family when I have one. I have a lot of knowledge to, of my religion and I've gone to Sunday school and Hebrew school. I know my family history and I will make sure that the stories live on. The Jewish religion is important because it is the oldest and first monotheistic religion, mean, which means we believe in one God. This belief helped create Christianity and Islam. I want to thank my mom and dad for creating me and for mom, my mom for giving birth to me. I want to thank them for encouraging me to become a bar mitzvah and always supporting my reading habits. I want to thank my brother Jonah for helping me learn how to babysit and be a brother. I want to thank Ellen Schaefer, who's not here today, but my tutor for helping me each week learn my prayers and working on my Hebrew. I want to thank my rabbi dinner, Citron and Simmer Alexi for supporting me through this journey. And even though we cannot have a service in the temple, we can still celebrate my bar mitzvah. I want to thank my best friend Dylan for being the best friend a man could ever ask for <laughs> and for playing chess with me a lot. I want to thank Bobby Stell and Grandpa Al for participating in my service and for Al for being funny and for Bobby Stell for teaching me stories of the Bible and Torah. I want to thank Grandpa Warren and Bobby Joyce for knowing Hebrew and for always telling me stories about how you survived the Holocaust and the importance of family history. I want to thank Meredith Moore for being the best Anne and for going on roller coasters with me and participating in my service. I want to thank all my cousins for joining me today and Molly for being part of my service. I want to thank my neighbors for celebrating with me today. And last, I want to thank Peter for being a best friend and neighbor ever and for teaching me the importance of facial hair and having a beard <laughs> and being part of my special day. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Now, Jacob, we invite your parents to come forward to offer a special message to you today on this celebration and mitzvah that you have accomplished. How you doing? Feel better? <laughs> Good. All right, JT, in your long, young life, in your young life, you will face and have many milestones. Today is one of them as you transition from a boy to a man in the Jewish religion. We're so proud of the work you put in preparing for your bat mitzvah. It was over a year in preparation. Bar mitzvah. Did I, bar mitzvah, pardon me. <laughs> your love of history of Israel and the entire world is inspiring. I hope that love continues. I know it will from all the books that you read. You've taken part in Sunday school with far more enthusiasm than I ever have. And I'm glad I didn't pass that trait down to you. You have a thirst for knowledge of Israel's history 
their struggles and of the Holocaust and how it ties into our family history. As time passes and the last witnesses die, it is your task now, your responsibility as a Jewish man throughout your entire life to pass along the message to never forget. May the milestones and blessings in your life be many. Mazel tov, JT. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> JT, at this time, I want to offer my words of Mazel tov to you for the beautiful lesson that you taught us and the way that you have led us in Torah and the way that you have led our worship. Bar Mitzvah is just the beginning. It is the entrance into a whole new world of possibilities. You bring us hope, Jacob. You bring us hope because you see how important it is to care for every one of God's creations. One of the things that we have learned, Jacob, during this time sheltering in place is that the world is better off if we're not using so much. You taught us this lesson from your Torah portion that we should care for the entire world. And I look to you and your generation to continue to teach us the important lessons of tikkun olam, the repair of the world. Then you shall continue to bring blessings as you have on this day, as you continue to embrace your heritage. And now I invite Samar Lexi to join me as we offer for you the words of the ancient priestly benediction. May God bless you and keep you. May God's light shine upon you and be loving to you. May you always embrace God's presence in your life. May that presence give you wholeness and peace. And let us all say together, Amen. And now we turn to the concluding part of our service. We turn in our prayer books to page 253 for our prayers for healing. O oh God, as I stand before you, I pray that you will bring healing to those who are in pain in our world, to those who are in pain who are close to our own lives. These members of our own community, Anne Blakeson, Sue Brim, Betty Cross, Sharon Davis, Dave Griffin, Anita Ledger, Wendy Newby, Candy Paul, Rudy Pariser, Jackie Schlesinger, Laura Stein, Bruce Wayne, Alan Weinberg, David Weinstein, and Abel Zalberg. And I invite you now to add names in the chat room of those who you are including in prayers for healing right now. I invite you also to share those names out loud, though you remain muted, but share them with those who are sitting with you on this day. For all of those named, for all of those names that are appearing before us, for all who are facing the throes of the COVID virus in our area and around the world, we ask God's blessing. Baruch atah Adonai, Rofeh HaCholim. Blessed are you, O God, who brings healing to the sick. Amen.
And now we turn in our service to the Alenu, found on page 282 through 287. Alenu shabiyak la dohun haku, la teit gidlal yotze bereshi, shelo asanu kiguye aratzot, velo samanu kemishpechot adama, שלא שם חנוכנו כהם, וגורו לנו ככל עמונם. ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא. ונאמר בהיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ, ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא, תהיה אדוני אחד, ושמו, ושמו, ושמו Turn it in our prayer books to page 291. There are stars up above so far away, we only see their light long, long after the star itself is gone. And so it is with people that we love. Their memories keep shining ever brightly. Though their time with us is done, the stars that light up the darkest night these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. We call to mind at this time the recent passing of Molly Small, Arlene Gervis, Alan Goldman, Barbara Goldman, Carrie Zevin, Judith R. Grossman, Marlene Axelgren, and Bertrand Robinson. We mark the yard site, the anniversary of passing of Morris Abramson, Henrietta Aronson, Joan Lenore August, Adeline Sylvester Barker, Harriet LeBlanc Cooper, Hyman Fishman, Minnie L. Fleischman, James W. Foley, Jacob Solomon Friedman, Francis M. Friedman, Marion Freed, Sylvia Friedenson, Ethel Friedman, Gabriel Lieberman, Ben Goldberg, Celia R. Goodman, Joseph Hamilton, Aaron Klein, Abe Klein, Mark Coral, Minnie Lipsius, Robert H. Lowe, Barbara Morowski, Manuel Miller, Erwin Ezzy Moss, Clara M. Oberdocker, J. Warren Rauscher, Ruth Reese, Ruth Shaw, Michael Scher, Joseph Schlosser, Becky Schwartz, Verdina Seligson, Norman Schumann, Marjorie Simon, Herb Teitelbaum, and Edward Wolfer. Invite you to add names as you are remembering into our chat. As we are preparing for the Kaddish, we also remember at this time all of those who were mothers in this world, mothers to us who have died on this weekend of Mother's Day. Zikronam Lebraka, may their memories be for blessing. We turn to page 294 for the words of the Kaddish as we rise together. Yikadal v'yikadash shamei rabba v'yama d'ibra hiruche v'yamich mafute v'chayachon u'yom e'chon u'chayei d'chonvet Yisrael v'adala u'bizman kari v'imru amin yehei shmei rabba v'horak le'olam u'mei ha'maya yitbarak v'yishtabak yitahar v'yikrama v'yitnase it had dar, it had lev, it had all shemay, the kushah, the 
להלאמין פה ברכתה וישירתה, תוש ורכתה ונחמתה, דמין רן בעלמה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיא, וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל, דמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומה, ויעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, דמרו אמן. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all Israel and all the world, and let us say together, Amen. As we are preparing for our closing song, I invite the Jewish jelly donuts to prepare their kiddish cups and their challah or bread so that they can join with Jacob and his family in kiddish and mozi at the end of our worship. Ein Keloheinu is on page 322. <laughs> Now I invite the Jewish jelly donuts to raise their own kiddush cups along with Jacob. And as you do, you will unmute yourselves. Just the Jewish jelly donuts, unmute yourselves. And Rabbi Citrin is really the expert at getting you guys started. And so we will say a special blessing to her as today begins her maternity leave and blessings for Brian and Rabbi Citrin and for their baby Eliana. So I want you to raise your cups high along with Jacob. And when I say three, it's all to you to lead us, unmute yourselves and lead us in the kidu. One and two and three, it's you. Hi, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Oporei Bereha Yavrenen. Amen. All right, everybody, Lachayim. Lachayim. And now, if you will, take your challah or your bread that you have brought with you. I noticed that... Uh, Jacob, you and your family have a huge challah, so what I want you to do is, after the blessing, I want you to tear off a piece and put it right there into the video so we can grab it from you and all share as the jelly donuts lead us again. Yeah. And a one, and a two, and a three. Okay, give me a piece, Jacob. See this woman? That's with whom I stayed in Portland for two nights. Oh, that's perfect. Here we go. Oh, here we go. That was wonderful, and Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I want to give you a minute, if you would like, to wish JT a Shabbat Shalom and an amazing Mazel Tov. Shabbat Shalom, JT, Mazel Tov. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.
You did amazing. Great job, Aaron. Yes, great job. Hey. We love you, JJ. Just tell her you're crying. Always. So tough to everyone. <laughs> great job, JT. Thank, Thank you, Rabbi. Thank, thanks for joining us, Diane. Thank great you, job, Rabbi JT. Dinner. It was nice seeing you. Good job, JT. Good to be Good here. Yes. What an honor to be able to celebrate with you. Great we, job. We JT. made it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Sweet. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. We've recorded all of this. Yep. Congratulations. Hi, Joyce and Warren. Mazel Tov. 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 JT, you were incredible. You were awesome. You okay, did so done. well. Really? I am in awesome. Yeah. So we're, we're, so we're going to conclude our worship here and allow you all to keep calling and messaging JT all day to just shower him with your love and with the joy of this Shabbat he has brought to us. Take care. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you. 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 Thank you.